Uh, I would like you to state your name. My name is Laura Schaefer. Yes, it is. Yes, that is. Um, we're filming in public, so God only knows what will happen. Indeed. It's an uh, adventure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what the whole documentary process is. Ooh. You are a student at Juniata College. I am a student at Juniata College. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, and you are a theater POE, which means you're nuts. I am a theater performance POE. Oh, I am quite sorry. You are a theater performance <laughs> POE, which means you are a... Yes, it does mean I'm nuts. Hi, I'm Sarah Lucchini. You know Laura Schaefer, obviously. Or else yes. I wouldn't be interviewing you. So, so the whole purpose of this is, is to get to know Laura as an actor, which is why I'm, I'm not only going to her because she's got a biased opinion of herself, yeah. is why I'm going to other people. So introduce yourself, please. Um, my name is Lauren Height Susan. I am a senior. I'm in the same class in POE as Laura. <laughs> Did you, do you remember meeting Laura for the first time? Um, no. <laughs> Well, we're both in the same class. We're both uh, seniors uh, this year. Uh, I guess I met her through the theater. Uh, I don't think we were in any classes together freshman year necessarily outside the theater. But uh, yeah, we met because we were both theater performance POEs. Like, I mean, obviously I had to have met her because we're friends. But like, no, she just kind of was there. Yeah. At the start, just fair and tie-dye. <laughs> her clothing like really reflects her personality. Like she's loud and a little weird. First impression, she just, uh, I, she's got a lot of love and um, positive energy I've got gathered from her. Um, she dresses in a very stunning way, so that probably caught my eye, a lot of tie-dye. She's a very uh, bright person in both clothing and energy. Uh, and it was very obvious to me when I first met her how passionate she was about this. In her. She is really adaptable, really like gung-ho when she gives a direction. She's like, okay, you want me to do that? Yeah. And then she does it. She's also really fearless and kind of relentless like if there's something she doesn't get right away she doesn't make a big deal out of it she just kind of like laughs it off but you can tell like she's thinking about it like okay well I'll get it eventually between the rejection and the amount of work that goes into it you just need uh, a, a drive and that's something I see very clearly in Lara like she's really really good on the trackies for one thing, like I'm terrible at it, but she is very, just very graceful on it. And she's always up for learning new skills. Um, she also uh, is very lucky to get to go to a lot of shows. And that's something that um, is really helpful as an actor because you can always learn from others. And I see that a lot in her. She's very modest. Perhaps too much at times. I don't think she realizes her skill. That means that she always will continue learning. Because if uh, it, when an actor thinks that they don't have anything more to learn, when they have an ego that gets in the way, they're like, I'm the best. It just then they stop growing. They stop and never stop growing as an actor. And that's something I see Lara doing throughout her life. She always. She always looks up to these people and like these actors that she loves and um, learns from them, learns from her peers, and that means she'll continue growing and getting better for as long as she acts. So she's adaptable and she's eager and she's just really into the learning process and like that she's you know fun to work with because she's always so positive all the time. She's really supportive of everyone. Um, she, just having her energy in the room with you, that was a huge part of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels for me. Um, not only her, but everyone. I just felt like I was supportive. And she's always the one saying, I love you. And like, 
you're brilliant, you're doing well, you're great, and like, mm -hmm. you, you need those cheerleaders sometimes, because this work is, as I said, it's difficult, and sometimes, you know, very often, specifically with Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, I'd just be like, oh, what am I doing, that just went badly, da da da, so she's very, very supportive, and she's very loving. She's like the queen of yes and, like yes and and is like an improv thing, where you're like, you know, first say no or but, well, I'm half penguin, yes and, your mom is a leprechaun. <laughs> like, exactly. you just keep it going. And she's so, so good at that. And she's never one of those people to get her a moment she needs to push other people down. That's not her at all. So she's happiest when everyone's up. And so she's the one being like, I love you, you're great, let's do this. Like, she's, a, and so that's one of the best parts of working with her. She is very respectful of other people. She wants to see you succeed. Having someone who wants you to succeed as much as she wants herself to succeed is just, and not seeing those as conflicting interests, not seeing it as I can be good or you can be good. It's we can both be great and we are, or yeah. like, <laughs> she needs to get up there too, as I said, but I think mm -hmm. she's such a, she, she has trouble seeing her skills and strengths. But she never sees someone else's talent as being a detriment to her, something against her. Like, I know one thing she does struggle with is she doesn't relax. Like, I know it's one, it's, she's probably going to see that and laugh, because it's me saying it. She's so enthusiastic about this. Yeah, people. And, and she's, I don't think I've ever heard her say, like, I don't want to do this. Like, <laughs> she's, we do a lot of stuff in performance lab that can be absolutely draining, like mime and like trapeze and all this stuff. And I just see her keep trying, keep trying, keep doing it. Um, and that's really admirable. She's very, very dedicated. Um, and she, she is, she like, she'll just like, be like, oh yeah, I've been sick all day and throwing up, but here I'm at a rehearsal and I'm like, are you okay? But she, that's it, it's, it, it heals her. Like, it's something she loves to do and when you love to do it, you do it. Well, I've seen her really improve over four years. That's something that's been lovely about having my class, just everyone, Laura and everyone else, just seeing how they have improved and how, um, and I think, I think with Laura, it's, it's getting, into her body um, in the way that she wants to be. And that, that is really, really difficult. It's, a, it's for every actor. You need to have an awareness of your physical body and what it's doing in order to transform it into another's physical body of your character. Is so excited that sometimes she makes herself trip. Because I've seen her when she has a rain on that energy mm -hmm. and it's amazing. And it's so different than anything she's done. And I feel like if she could like tap into when she's got a handle on that energy, like it'd be incredible. Um, and I've seen her grow so much in that. Um, and it's just something that we all have our little things. I was Hermia and she was Helena. She was like refusing to outrun me because I was chasing her. And she's like, no, it's fine. And Kate Clark stops her and says, all right, Laura, I want you to listen to what I'm saying to Lauren. And turns to me and says, if you catch her, you can hit her. <laughs> and Laura just looks horrified. Because <laughs> she knows that I'll do it. And that was how she magically got the energy to run and outrun me. Laura is a very welcoming and fun-spirited and actually an incredibly selfless human being, which is not only like a theater thing but it's also like an outside of theater thing and she has this innate ability to sense what's wrong with people and you really can't get away with lying to her <laughs> she caught me in a lie last year and called me right out on it because we were sitting backstage and i just lied to her she goes no you're not you're not gonna do that <laughs> and i was like you're right i'm not and then i just started crying and the fact that she reads people so well makes her really easy to work with because she'll know, like, if you're having a bad day, like, do you need something or do you need room? And it's a really rare gift that she's got, and I think it's going to take her places. This is really cool what you're doing, and I think Lara, it's 
such a good person to pick because Lara is... I feel like sometimes she has these blinders on where she sees everything good about everyone else, but she can't see it in herself. Absolutely. And Definitely. so seeing this, I think, will be really good. I just hope she, uh, she sees this and learns something from it because uh, the amount, the number of people who love her and support her is numerous.